Praxis Prepper. Everybody, this is Praxis, and here I am midwinter out in this pile of logs that I've had covered with a tarp since the summer, and I'm trying to pull out enough firewood so I can use it to heat the house that I just finished building over the last summer and fall. I had a limited amount of time over that summer and fall, and I had to choose what I was going to do with that time, and it made sense to me that I'd rather have a house that I could move into with not enough firewood versus a house that I can't even live in with a beautiful firewood pile next to it that I don't even need. So I allocated the time in the way that I did. Does that make me not a prepper because I'm out here? I was very unprepared in terms of firewood. Do you ever think about what it means to be a prepper? Are you a prepper? If you were going to answer that question for yourself, what's the first thing that you would think about? Would you think about things like, do I have the right prepper car? The right prepper root cellar? The right prepper pantry? The right prepper fallout shelter? Do you have the right prepper firewood pile? To look at it in that way though, I think is a mistake because looking at it like that is looking at prepping as though it's a destination. It's a destination that you've gotten to a, a certain place when you've gotten enough stuff, when you've gotten enough things. And that's a mistake because all those things were achieved based on things you did yesterday or things that you were given yesterday. Let's be honest. I mean, not everything that we achieve in this world is stuff that we ourselves have achieved. Some things we were born into, some things we were with through good fortune or whatever have happened to us. But whatever the circumstances are, today, right now, this moment is the destination that you've been heading for your entire life. And I apologize that you're spending it here with me watching this video, but it's a destination and prepping is not a destination. It's not a place that you have gotten to today. If you don't feel like you're a prepper right now, it's not a destination that you're going to get to tomorrow because to be a prepper, to be someone that is into preparedness, that is, that has everything to do with what's going on up here right now, this moment and not what has gone on in the past. The past is pretext, it's what brought you to right now. But whether or not you're a prepper, it's about the mindset that you're in at this very moment. Because whatever the circumstances are, they could always be better. Uh, a lot of people watch my channel, they know that I just finished building this really lovely homestead. It works really effectively. We've got you know the wonderful root cellar. We've got the fallout shelter, which is the same thing as the root cellar. We've got an awesome pantry. We have great insulation. We heat the whole thing just with the wood that I'm about to pull out of this pile right here. We've worked very hard to achieve so many things for ourselves, but as you can see right here, no matter how much you do, there's always something else that you can do to improve your situation. And that is why being a prepper is not a destination because no matter how many preps you come up with, no matter how many plans you lay, you can always do more to improve things. So as you're moving into prepping, if you're a new person to prepping, don't get daunted by the fact there's like people like myself and other people who, you know, they've achieved all this stuff for themselves, they have a great pantry, they have the great house and everything. Whether you're a prepper or not has everything to do, like I said, with what's happening up here right now in your brain. The idea that you're thinking about tomorrow, you're not just thinking about today, about you know satiating whatever desires you may have at the moment. You're thinking about planning for tomorrow, building for tomorrow, keeping your eyes open to what tomorrow may be like. And it doesn't matter how far along you are on that journey, whether you're like myself and you've just finished building a house that you're really, really proud of, or you're just starting out on that journey, because the key is what's going on up here and where you're headed for in the future, because the prepping is for the future. We don't prep for the past, we don't prep for the present, although it makes the present moment very comfortable once you get to it. What we're really doing is prepping for the future, and the future isn't written for any of us. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.